Good morning, so welcome to uh, my new video. So as you can tell by the title, this is actually going to be a video about my dissertation. So it is now currently half past 10 on the 29th of April. Um, I've been awake probably for about half an hour, um, but it's two days until my dissertation project is... It's two days until my dissertation project is due, and currently at the moment, I've pretty much finished editing the video. Um, I do need to have a little look at the production log one more time just to make sure that I've not missed out anything stupid. And in terms of the essay, I've got a first draft. Um, again, I'm going to have a look at that, refine that today, um, and I'll sort of bring you along on my journey to sort of show you what I do, uh, what I'm doing, because obviously I've never done a dissertation before, and this is the only time I'm doing it. I'm never going to do any work after this again, um, academic-wise, but... Yeah, so I'll show you my little study section first. I feel like I've, I've not done this before. So this is my updated study section. So what you can see is on the right hand side I have a variety of different notes. I've got a sketchbook which I've been adding content to and my old laptop. You can then see my charger and headphones are both connected to my laptop. This is the laptop where all the work gets done on. I've got my glasses which I'm going to wear. I've actually got um, this piece of paper. This was pretty much... Um, my dissertation plan. It has slightly changed since then, but all the different inspirations and all the different things that I wanted to try and include. And then on the other side, um, all of the changes that my uh, dissertation tutor suggested that I change to my video. So I've pretty much changed all of those. There's only like one or two things on there I didn't cross out, or I crossed them out, but I didn't actually change them. Um, and then up here, in terms of my dissertation, again, so I pretty much split my piece of paper into three different sides. So I've got storyboard, which has a tick next to it. You just can't see it. There you go. Um, video, which is also done. Production log is just a little bit more of paperwork just to get a bit more consent and all that sort of stuff, which is all done. Just needs to be slightly updated. And in terms of the essay, these are the sorts of things that I was going for. So an abstract, contents, introduction, the main body, and the variety of things I'm speaking about. Um, a conclusion, a bibliography, and then obviously look at the example is what I wrote on there. But I did look at the example, and the example um, that was sent was completely different to the uh, topic of discussion that I'm going for. Also, I'm blurry again, need to learn how to focus myself naturally, naturally, manually. Um, but yeah, I am probably going to go and have breakfast first, and then I will get on uh, with my essay first. I think I'm going to start with the essay first, make all the changes I need to make for that, and then I'll do the production log, and then I will email it to my tutor and see what he thinks of it. So we actually ordered a uh, ice cream delivery, I believe, and we ordered two packets of Oreo ice cream for um, Tashar, but obviously they didn't arrive. Uh, we've already got one pack of those, they're not for me anyway. And in terms of cereal, I feel like I'm holding this in my hand and I have been for like the last like few minutes. I think I ordered a couple of packets of Special K, so these, um, but obviously again they ran out of stock so I've got chocolate cereal instead which might make me go like this all day but that's good, I feel like I need energy today. So step one in order for me to obviously get all this stuff finished or at least a bit of draft today having cereal, so that's what I'm going to do. Don't let anything define you other than yourself. Your worth does not come from winning competitions or elections or how well you do at uni or how much your friends like you or what impact you have on the world. You yourself have intrinsic worth. 
you are beautiful, you are worthy, and if you died without doing anything, you would still be that way. So, I guess today's motivation motive is realize your worth comes from inside of you. Okay, so I'm just looking in my uh, hard drive now, and this is the state of my folders. So I've literally got pictures, I've got Premiere Pro templates, I've got all sorts of sounds and videos, I don't know, live stream videos for my own Instagram, I've got all sorts of pictures and screenshots, hundreds of different words, uh, PowerPoints and all this sort of stuff. And then I go into my work, and I've got some more just randomly chilling here. This is all for my dissertation, by the way. And I go into uni, okay, and this is all nice. And I go into my desk and then everything is just everywhere. So this is all of the stuff that I used for my video. All the majority of the stuff that I used. See, as you can see here, there's like a tick uh, with a background and a tick without. This is the one that I obviously used. You've then got tool one, tool two, and then tool two, but without the background. Um, I've got a variety of the different like uh, titles. So here you've got Twitter, YouTube, uh, Snapchat, and LinkedIn. But I didn't use those. I used the ones like this. So these ones are slightly bolder, slightly bigger, easier to read. Um, here you go, another one there. For example, uh, guitar here again, the background, oh, some nice pictures there of me, Sophia and Dean Rianne. Some fit lad that I decided to just pick from Google. That I actually edited. That was previously, uh, well it was that, and then it was that, and then it ended up being that. So, yeah, I added that a bit. And then we've got Hey Sisters, got him featured in my thing. So, and then I've also got my, each of my storyboards is in its own little folder, and emojis are all just sort of chucked into one folder as well. So, most of them are emojis, social media icons, that was my old logo, that's my friend's logo, that was a logo from a game that I used to play. Don't know why, oh, that's where that screenshot is. I didn't know where that went, I didn't realise it was in here. A half Skype logo, Summer in the City, which is now Social in the City, JLGB where I used to work, and then obviously loads of others. So yeah, I thought I would show you guys that. So it is currently quarter to 12. I'm still um, making changes to my production log. The video is pretty much finished. Um, so I'm literally, in terms of the video, I'm just sort of double checking through the whole thing and making sure it makes sense. I think I'm gonna probably re-edit it just one more time because at the beginning, the whole video sort of like lags a little bit. Um, so I am going to make sure it doesn't lag. Production log, I've pretty much already got like what, two slides left to do. Typography, colour and lighting from a production log, then I'm going to get on with my essay. I want to make something interesting for lunch today, so I feel like I deserve it after all the hard work I've done. Um, and I feel like this is the only video where I'm doing like a 48 hours until completion. So you'll literally see me now that like, I'm not that stressed because I've got most of it done, but coming up to like hours before, minutes before submitting it, I'm literally going to be like pooing myself like, is there anything I've forgotten? Is there anything I've not done sort of thing? So yeah, by the time this video goes up, my dissertation will have already been handed in. I would have probably finished my last module as well because so far I have five modules to complete, four of which are modules and one is my dissertation. I've already handed in three modules. Dissertation is technically number four and then number five I've just got to make a website, um, again another production log, both of those are pretty much done and then another essay for that which isn't due till like the 12th or 13th of May so again I haven't started that yet because I've been prioritising this um, but yeah I'm going to finish the log and I will see you guys in a bit when I start back on my essay again and I might even explain what my essay is about, I don't really know myself to be fair, it's something to do with social media though. Okay, I will be back. So it's mainly introduction, three or four, three or four references that like basically four main points that you give opinions on and that you give uh, examples and evidence for, and then just a conclusion overall. I sort of did that, sort of didn't do that, but I've got I've got like nine references in total in my essay. Yeah, I just made sure I was like, look, there's a few that I I don't know if they're like academic sources, like, um, but. Yeah, I've got like, I think I've got like eight or nine. Um, so I'm going to change that, reword everything and then whatever, but it's just, yeah.
Is that for your uh, journal, like your tourism video? All right, so just a quick update. Um, I started adding some stuff to my essay, um, as you may have seen in my previous uh, snippets. I was actually talking to Liv on the phone. Um, we, she was just asking me for some like ideas um, for what she can write about in her essay. So she pretty much she pretty much knows what she's doing. Um, so I just gave her a little bit of advice and stuff. Um, she's just been reading a book um, that introduces what the law of attraction is, which is a really, really interesting. I feel like it's a really, really interesting concept. It's about if you believe in something and you're positive about something happening, then it's more likely to happen. Um, I'm pretty much just about to join a, uh, a Microsoft Teams group chat. This is a notification from a couple of the people in the group chat, um, so I'm going to join that now. Oh, hi. Oh, I forgot my microphone was even on. <laughs> um... Uh, is, this is the thing for that we're teaming up with another mentor, isn't it? I believe. Yeah. Will it have to be uh, video form or just sort of written and then send over the written? Uh, okay, but live videos or sort of answering those Q and A's in a video and then uploading that to the Teams page or sending it over. Okay, yeah, I think I think me and the girl I'm doing with, all right, we've got a um a word document uh, that we're both going to edit at the same time and then just email that over tomorrow. Uh, I don't actually, I haven't actually checked what she's done yet. She said she's answered the three questions already, but I haven't actually checked. Let me have a look. Uh, I'll just whip it up. Um, yep, yeah, that's perfect. I just thought I'd drop in because I. Oh, here we go. I've just got the questions. They just they just popped up. Uh, so the ones that she did, uh, how can I access resources for my assignments? Um, I'm struggling working from home, who do I contact? And then how do I stay fit at home? It's fine. Um, and I'm sure throughout the year we'll probably get loads more questions coming through anyway, so it's not like we're going to not ever have questions not to answer, so that should be alright. Because I saw, because I did an Instagram takeover on the uni website yesterday and the woman that um, arranged it, she said, well, she just posted some stuff on there today um, talking about the Microsoft Teams stuff. So I might be able to message her, see if she can sort of promote it a bit wider, maybe. Um... Right, so I'm currently just writing a uh, part of a document, which is for students um, and it's to do with like student life um, and obviously during this situation, if any students had uh, any questions or anything they want answering, then we ask them based on the department. So for example, I'm working with a girl called Beth, uh, Beth Keeling. So I believe she's in her final year as well. Um, so we're just sort of coming together with some questions. So she's got, uh, how can I access resources for my assignments? I'm struggling working from home, who do I contact? How can I stay fit? And the questions I come up with were, uh, how can I keep motivated during this time? My mental health is very strong. How can I put myself in a better mood and ensure it doesn't get worse? And tips for concentrating on my work and not being distracted by social media, my phone, or anything else. So we're just sort of planning out our answers to that. I'll sort of show you what we've got so far. In terms of keeping motivated during this time, I've sort of just written a paragraph um, suggesting people to do to-do lists, speaking to course mates, and obviously taking advantage of the student mentors. In terms of mental health, listening to podcasts, uh, radio, those sorts of things, potentially yoga, because again, I've, I've mentioned there that obviously there won't be anyone to disturb you, so you can just do that yourself. Um, communicating with classmates, family lecturers, and again, obviously the student services are always there as well. I don't really know why there's that weird line and a dodgy space in, but I didn't do that. Um, and then tips for concentrating on work and not being distracted. I'd say put it in a box, uh, give it to family and friends, and for other people, it includes listening to music, finding a comfortable place away from your bedroom, or maybe something else. And I know she's online because I can see her little symbol, so I just put, hi Beth, how are you doing? She doesn't reply, yet. So, uh, the use of social media is an important concept in today's society. I'll be discussing a variety of social media applications that are equally beneficial for the individual's business to help with professional branding. No, okay. Um, I just went phase.
All right, so it is now currently quarter to six and I've pretty much finished my first draft of this essay. Very, very stressful, but I'm very, very happy in terms of where it's at the moment. I'm sure there's more changes to make. Um, but yeah, so here she is. She's currently chilling on uh, my home screen. I'm obviously not gonna show you the whole essay, but when it loads. So my question is, how does social media benefit personal branding and how does the different platforms achieve this? So if I, uh, can I view it slightly differently? Oh, I can't even zoom out. Nine pages long, so I've got the introduction page, that's my contents, and then my abstract, my introduction of what social media is, and my like, opening statement, uh, personal branding and all what personal branding is, all of that's personal branding, uh, why social media is important in terms of personal branding, what social media platforms are the best, um, what does this even say, I can't even read that, something about uh, tips for using social media um, to help with personal branding, conclusion, and then I've got all my like references, so all of these are written and academic -y sort of references, and then these ones at the end are film, oh I need to change the colour of that, but yeah, they're all pretty much done. Look at that, way. Diana? Diana, <laughs> God three means saint, Aiken means river of gods, and saint means wall in Estonia and to be in German. <gasps> Anything burning? <clears throat> yeah, my housemates were cooking and <laughs> literally the ho whole house is a bit filled with smoke. God, what took you so long? What are you doing? Oh, I'm protecting myself from the virus. I'm protecting myself from the virus. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? I'll undo it. Uh. I swear it was. I can't hear it. It's so quiet. Oh my god. I can't talk though, otherwise I won't be able to hear it. I can't talk and listen though, otherwise I won't be able to hear it. So I'll just sort of go like that. <laughs> Come on Sophie, let's go party. Oh, I was already out. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> God, that's so difficult. I haven't done that in proper ages. Can you touch your tiptoes? No. Yeah, but I can't go anymore, I've my legs go bent. Okay, so it is currently quarter to nine. Um, I'm literally just scrolling through my Instagram, just sort of looking at my posts. Um, I haven't posted since three days ago, so the 26th of April. These were like my birthday pictures, so I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll share those. But I actually unblocked from liking anything for a few days, as you can see, I'm blocked till the the 4th of May, so that's not great. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just let you guys know that I actually managed to finish writing my first draft. Um, I also had a couple of biscuits that were in here, but now this pot is obviously empty. Um, and I'm going to end today's vlog here. I'm really, really bad at vlogging at the moment, I don't even know why it's so 
weird. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end today's vlog here. I do hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. It's been basically a bit of a mess. Um, so yeah, I sort of spoke on the phone to Rianne, had a chat with Sophia, had a FaceTime sesh with my nan as well, just to make sure she's alright. Spoke to my auntie, um, a couple of my Estonian girls as well on the Microsoft Teams, which is always interesting to use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here, quarter to nine. I'm probably going to just chill out for the evening now, and I'll be back tomorrow um, for the last 24 hours of me doing potentially any changes to my essays or any changes to my production log or any additions or edits to my video um, and then there'll be a separate video where I'll, I'll be discussing all of the work that I've been doing this year in terms of third year coursework that I haven't discussed previously and I'll also put links in my blog post if you want to go to links for like the full videos or like the full powerpoint and that sort of thing so yeah I'm going to end this video here well this part of the video and I will see you well the next time you'll see me is tomorrow during my last 24 hours of sorting out my dissertations. Until then, goodbye. Welcome to day two of my vlog, guys. I'm in a good mood. I'm on the phone to Canon at the moment, or trying to. I'm trying to ring Canon. I've got a problem with my camera. One of the screws has gone loose, and I don't know where I put my spare ones, so I need someone to help me. Oh, you're welcome. No, I want them to come back. Wait, I'm holding. Good. Right. Hello? Hiya. Okay, so after my unsuccessful call with Canon, I uh, tried to call a couple of other agencies. Basically, all I'm trying to do is get replacement screws for my camera because Obviously the camera works, but the screen has lost its screws. Um, well, not all of them, only one. And I've put them somewhere so safe that I have forgotten where that safe place is. If you can hear tick, tick, tick in the background, I've currently got chicken strips and leftover potato wedges and what, what, potato wedges? Sweet potato fries, whatever they're called, in the oven, which actually now works. We had a problem with that for the last couple of weeks. Um, basically we had no oven, so we were just eating food from like microwaves, the hob, which still doesn't have a light. Um, but the guy came, pretty much just reset the oven, so it works to a point now. So at least we've got one oven back. Okay, so this is my lunch today. It looks a bit of a mess. Um, so it's basically like little chicken strips. Um, I've got some sweet potato fries in here as well. Um, and I've got some vegetables. They're all there at the bottom, but I do have vegetables. Some cauliflower here. Got some broccoli on this side. You see it poking out. And all this drizzly stuff is called gravy. So. I think I made it a little bit too weak, but it's pretty nice, so I'm going to get on with eating that today. Also, in terms of timings, it is 2.17, and i got five messages, so I'm going to have to reply to those. Alright, so I thought I'd just add a bit more to the vlog, and just say that I'm going to eat in soup. So it's a bit hot. So, what I've got, it's minestrone, I believe. So, as you can see, there's like little bits of pasta little like bits of green beans they're like tomatoes and stuff and then I added a little bit of rice as well so there's a little bit of rice and then just a tiny bit of like cheese on the top that's the cheese bit there yeah I just filmed a another YouTube video for my main channel um, just reading through my yearbook from primary school so this here it is so this is before I met any of my secondary school friends any of my university friends any of my work experience or any of my anything from 2009 onwards basically before any of that happened um, so I just reacted to that. Quite oh, hot. It's a fan of my mouth. But yeah, I'm gonna go and eat my soup in peace. But it is currently quarter to six. About an hour ago, uh, I got an email from my lecturer saying that he received my email um, with my essay production log and updated dissertation video. But he's gonna have a look at it tomorrow morning. So. For me, it's just another long wait um, till the morning, but I think what I'm gonna do for now then is be proactive in other ways. So I'll either have a start on my last essay, my very, 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 very last essay, which isn't due to like the middle of May, or I'll get on with filming other YouTube videos like I've already filmed the one today, um, or I'll write blog posts, um, plan out podcasts, that sort of thing. I'm sort of, I don't really know what I wanna do with my podcast. Do I wanna do it, do I not? I feel like I could. But like just not promote it 
also I forgot to turn my bathroom light off so I'm gonna have to go do that as well but yeah I thought I'd update you guys just let you know that I am eating this is basically my dinner second meal of the day I think my chicken from before was literally my breakfast um, at lunch time and then my soup is now my lunch bit at dinner time which doesn't make any sense also finished my water so I need to go and fill up some of that to stay hydrated um, and yeah, it's pretty much everything from me, so I will catch you in a bit, and I'm probably going to have a FaceTime session with Olivia later, just to see how much work we've managed to get done, and whether she's managed to finish her essay, because she was stressing about it before, um, but I said to her, I was like, at least we're not like, we've only got one day left, we've still got two days to complete it, so I'm sure she'll be fine, but yeah, I'll vlog that in a bit. Okay, so it is now 9.30 in the evening, uh, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, okay, so this is currently the second day that's just finished. I didn't realise, um, when I started this vlog, I actually had 72 hours, pretty much, to complete my dissertation, so, yeah, it's not, it wasn't due tonight, it's due tomorrow night, so, there's gonna be one little more day of vlogging, um, and then this video should be over, so, yeah, I've also got some more content coming soon as well, so if there are any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, let me know, obviously, and I'll try and get as many of them done as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to experiment throughout the week, do some more photo shoots, get some more videos filmed. I think I've got a couple of reaction videos that are going to be coming out soon as well, or they may already be out, don't really know. Um, so yeah, just tune in for one more day, uh, and that will be the 1st of May, and... Oh, that rhymed. So yeah, my dissertation is due at 11.59pm tomorrow. Uh, and then I will fully end this video. Once I've handed in my work and it's submitted and done the deadline timings and all of that, then I will end the video. But for now, the video is on pause and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, good morning everyone. So this is, uh, it is actually now the 1st of May, um, which means it is deadline day for my dissertation. Not just me, um, all of my like friends and stuff as well. And I am literally sitting here, not naked, just I haven't got a top on because I've only been up for like not very long and I wanted to just get on with making changes straight away. So uh, I did actually get email um, feedback about the updated video that I did. And my lecturer basically said to me, um, let me just get the email up because it's currently in the deleted box and I have like 4,000 pictures in there for some reason. Uh, he just said, um, I mean I can put the screenshot here as well. It looks like I've covered most of the minor graphical errors uh, that me and him had discussed, and as a result it looks cleaner, the refined sections now were better too, fantastic. Um, there seems to be a seven second delay at the start, the only reason I've done that is because my video is so laggy and because there's so much in it, just giving it a few more seconds to load um, allows it to work better. Uh, glitches in the new graphics, so there's no background on the phones at one point, um, for some reason that image didn't have a background, it wasn't a purposeful thing. Um, and then the half Skype logo, I purposely put half of the Skype logo because obviously I didn't speak about that and it's like a comedy thing like, oh, what was that app? Oh, it's Skype. Oh, it's gone. Sort of thing. Um, the first contributor has a slight glitch in the cutting of her dialogue. I don't think, I mean, that's just sort of the way that she speaks, but also the amount of time I had to change that audio. It's not her fault. I think it was, at first I couldn't hear the audio and then I could hear it, but it was very, very choppy, so I had to like unchop bits and then rearrange different sentences around, so I just thought, you know what, I'm not even gonna be bothered, I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, and then he says, uh, I think I'll advise you to show this to a range of people for some audience feedback, potentially for them to complete a series of questions to inform your reflection or further edits. There's not really much time um, for further edits, I'm being honest, it's due in like, not even a day. Uh, and I've pretty much been sending uh, my video around to everyone, so, I think I sent it to Rianne, I think I sent it to a couple of people that were actually in the video that they say they like it and there's nothing that seems to be wrong with it. I think I sent it to my auntie as well. Um, but that was before I made all these other changes. So yeah, if, if it was good before, then I'm sure it's not gone worse if I've made more better changes. But either way, I don't really want to make any more changes. And actually I had a bit of a situation this morning as well. Um, I tried to open the, uh, the video file on Premiere Pro. And for some reason, I actually managed to lose the screen recordings that I did. So all of the different screen recordings when I was on like LinkedIn or Facebook or scrolling the different games or something, I can't find those anymore. So yeah, it's just been an absolute pain in the backside. Literally this time tonight, we'd have like 20 minutes until submission. So yeah. Also, this vlog's been all over the place. There's been things I've wanted to vlog but didn't, but this video has literally been all about my dissertation and just this one specific piece of work without giving away too much detail about what it's about. It's basically about social media, like pretty much. Um, 
I will obviously, all the videos and all the different attempts of this video are actually uploaded on my second YouTube channel, Is That More Brandon? So if you wanna go and check that out, you're more than welcome to. Um, like I said, the headphones in, cause I was gonna to attempt to do a bit more editing, but didn't. Um, but yeah, my, my one of my next upcoming videos will be about uh, the university work that I did from this year, but like the second -y sort of half, cause there's some of the videos um, I've already created about my university work, so I'll either just link a screenshot or a link in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm almost done. After my dissertation's finished, literally once this is finished, I've just got one more essay to write, uh, a few more blog posts, and that production log for that module is actually finished. So, it's just another 2,000 words, or 1,200, or 1,500, I don't actually know how many words. More than 1,000, less than 2,000. What happened in the first year? Remember, we did, we did this in the first year within 24 hours, and you, you ended up getting a 2-1. Like, I ended up getting, like, a 2-2, two -two, but you ended up getting a 2-1. Like, you, I remember you just said, you were like, oh, I'm writing so much crap, none of this makes sense. But apparently it did, because <laughs> you did write it. It's currently half past, half past three in the afternoon. I don't even have my watch on. How ridiculous is that? And I've pretty much finished the essay. Um, pretty much finished the production log. And I think the only thing I'm adding on to the production log is just the new copyright form. Which basically, I had to write a list of every single picture, graphic, video that I used in my video. Which obviously I'm not going to be changing now. So I just said that I got everything from Google, which the links initially to get these pictures, it was from Google, but it was from Google, which took me to a different website. That's the website that I've got to quote and I haven't done that for any of them. Also, I've just realized my bananas have gone brown, but um, if you have a brown banana, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad. I literally opened one yesterday and as you can see, there's still a bit of green, so it's still a bit like normal. So if I open it, it should be, it's pretty much white. So that's fine. So I'm gonna delve into this, it is now, Basically one o'clock, it's like 12.50. Um, one second. At first, it's always the worst. And then in terms of my, um, in terms of my production log, I think the only thing he sort of mentioned, where is it? Um, I have a screenshot, but I literally just lost it. One second, I probably will insert the screenshot as well. Um, he said, I, I seem to have most sections covered. Just be careful, I'm including, I'm including why rather than just how um, in sections towards the first half. Uh, I've outlined what's happened in most places but there's less reflection of what the situation made me think, realise, learn or how I adapted my practice. Uh, in terms of sorting my images, it's not just Google. I realised that I just really couldn't be bothered to look at every single website so I'm going to have to just re rewrite where all the sources were because I've got the links um, but they're not all just from Google. Okay cool, perfect. Uh, bibliography is empty, and obviously he's presuming I'm working on that. I yeah, I've just forgot to forgot to do the bibliography for that. So, there. Kiss me outside, hey buddy. I know this one is blue. Oh my god, no, it's red. Oh yeah, it was red. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, kiss me outside, hey buddy. So as you can see, we're currently playing a. Well, I'm not playing. I'm just watching. There's like random people here. Um, so we're just watching the quiz. It's all about Nottingham and like this is the meme around. That moment when you find uh, one Easter egg left, green. I think it's green. Come on, green. Green. Surely it's not red. Can't be having a baby. It's either blue or green. I say green. <gasps> it was blue. Well, I was sort of close. My favourite symbol. Okay, right, fine. Next. Next. Uh, why is that space so big?
Just seeing how my glasses look on me, and have a little look. It's been quite interesting actually. That's really clever. I like that. This website called Mill. So your friends, it was nice to meet them. But I can't ever see them again. Hey. It's a no-brainer. Listen to any song, anywhere, anytime, Don't without care. any limits. I want limits. Ready to go premium? No. Tap the banner to learn more. Take Roblox. Um. I am not your home in not your hoo na na eh Like you know me na na eh You don't know me I mean, a perfect example of the daily vlogging, Saffron Barker. She literally has one channel for videos and one channel for, well, she doesn't do daily vlogs anymore, but she did. Selves are just called vlogs because it's all it is is a video log, a log with, that's a video. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you filming yourself. It could just be, hi guys, welcome to my video. That's a, that's a vlog. That's good. All right, so I'm now in the kitchen. I've currently got my um, uni screen open and I'm just about to like submit my dissertation finally. I literally just can't bother to wait anymore. I just wanna get it handed in. Where is the even folder? Where is the folder? There. Let me double check that I'm actually putting stuff in the right folder though. Great, this module cannot be released until 11th of June. Okay, so that's good, I guess. Okay, so uh, main dissertation submission. So if I go to computer, right, let's upload the video first. 
So my work, uni, this, make sure it's the right version, number four, files larger than 512 megabytes, that's not good to there. I'm not supposed to do that then. Smaller.com, let's try this. It looks like a dodgy website, but we'll give it a go. How to convert MP4. No! To shrink the size of the video. Compress. Oh, for fuck's sake, how do I. Alright, so it turns out I have to sort of reduce the file size of my file. So I'm now currently saving it. Instead of a HP264, whatever, I'm now changing it to a high quality 1080p HD. So. Thank you for Tom uh, for helping me out because I didn't really know what I was doing. This is Tom, by the way. So, yeah, thank you for helping me out with that. I didn't really know what I was doing. So, yeah, the video is saving. It's going to take about 27 minutes. Um, I'm still waiting for my pizza and uh, chicken strips to cook because they didn't cook. Not sure what's happening. This oven's just being stupid. Um, so, yeah, I will update you guys once it's all handed in. <clears throat> all right, so I'm just looking for the final video, because I had to change the video um, and upload it in a really weird quality. So it's just saved, and I'm trying to find it, there it is. Add. Ah. Oh. oh, there's an error I found, okay. But it's just downloading, that's why. So this is my screen at the moment. Just waiting, come on. Uh, I wrote a message, I said, hi Richard and Matt, I've attached my Update the production log essay and final edit for my video, the power of social media. I've had to lower the quality quite low to fit the document to the Dropbox folder. So alternatively there's a YouTube link which goes to my video. Cheers, Brandon, submit. And I click done just to make sure it's actually gone through. Fantastic news. So, dissertation is now finished. So it's now a matter of me helping Liv to make sure she gets to the end of it. Uh, so I'm gonna go and speak to her. Um, hopefully we're done. And I will see you in a little bit. Welcome to the vlog again. <laughs> camera off. Huh? Can you turn my camera off? No. Just wave. It's like quarter to ten. We're nearly. We are nearly getting there in terms Stop of. Out. Huh? Stop out in his. I'm not out in his. I only submitted mine like. Not that long ago. So Liv's working really hard. She's just sorting out her contents page at the moment. Um, just making sure she's alright. Like You can hear the little the tap tap tappings coming along quite well. Ordered in here online. Making sure to mention any other flavours or dietary options available. That, that was actually quite good. Obviously you couldn't actually film it, but that was wicked. New YouTube video. Oh, definitely. That is not cool. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's my dissertation video. Oh, I definitely got everything, yeah. I'm so scared. Especially well, you've got half an hour, so come on, get a move on. <gasps> not that one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> it's my yeah. final essay, production log, and video. I didn't have access to any Adobe software throughout my production, which I feel as though affected the final outcome of my, of my dissertation. But hopefully my production log and storyboard storyboard video can give you a rough idea of how I imagined it to turn out. Just gonna... <laughs> Is that definitely right? Yes, yeah, just submit it, come on. Submit in. <gasps> right, click done, click done. Oh my god, you know how much of a weight that is lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> you just got like seven other modules to do now. Don't kill my vibe. Oh, sorry. Um... Thank you, Baba. No, that's all right. Let me gonna um have a drink. Liv, you happy? Yeah. Right, so I'm not sure what's happening with my camera, but that is the end of this vlog. I do hope you enjoyed it. Me and Liv finally finished, handed our stuff in. Don't really know what anyone else is doing. But half an hour to spare. <laughs> half an hour to spare. Well, actually, no, 30, 31 minutes. I'm just so a bit. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. If you did like, and if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with you with another video very soon. Liv might be even in it, maybe, but you never know.
All right, so it is now basically like five minutes to midnight. Um, I'm gonna have to talk a bit quietly because obviously there's people still working and that sort of thing. People are not all like awake. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd end this video here and just sort of say that was my last 72 hours in terms of preparing, um, doing and completing my dissertation. So yeah, I am gonna end this video here now. I think again, dissertation it is doable and it was doable. It was just a little bit stressful coming up with the idea. And obviously because there are so many different concepts for a practical um, dissertation, you have to obviously create something practical, have a whole production log of the practical thing um, with all different forms of paperwork. And then obviously the essay, which links to the video or links to the project of some sort, but isn't an exact replica um, just in word format. So it was difficult having to come up with a question as well. So yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed uh, filming this. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while, so I'm going to hopefully get back into that. That should be quite um, uh, an interesting film for me to do. But yeah, I think I've got a, a few more uh, pieces of content, video content on the way coming soon. I've got to pre-film some more stuff. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back very, very soon. Till then, goodbye.